beg your pardon. I didn't mean to stare. I, I was just interested in those medals of yours. Are they from the 1718 war? It may have been the 1718 war to you, mate, but it was the 1418 war to us. <laughs> yes, yes, I'm, I'm sorry. It's all over by the time you got there. The Yanks are coming. <laughs> uh, they were hardly in here. Well, now, that's not exactly true. I was in France myself. We had some very tough campaigns. If it hadn't been for us, it would have gone on a lot longer. You and the French would have been in real trouble. The French? What have they got to do with it? They were shagged out by 1960. <laughs> do it all alone. Yeah, we carried them for the rest of the war. Excuse me, monsieur, I must protest. Who are you? You have insulted the honor of France. I hear you say we were, you say it shagged out by 1960. <laughs> I say to you, monsieur, what about Verdun, 1917? What about Verdun? One million French casualties. The flower of the French nation. And how about the Somme? Twice, mate. What about Chateau Twerry? 21st of July, 1918. Poor <laughs> picnic. I beg your pardon. Oh, it's the sky show, that's all. Yeah, well, we saved you, friend. We saved you in the First World War and the 42-45 war. The 39-45. <laughs> yeah, you were late there again. Never saw <laughs> Saw a yank for two and a half years. Had to carry on alone, we did. He's not turned it in again. <laughs> we were sabotaged. You British deserted us in our hour of need at Dunkirk. Yeah, yeah, that's true. A great, great tragedy that was. What was? Dunkirk, a terrible defeat. Never. It was a strategic withdrawal. Don't lower yourself. Far. You keep out of it. I'm not going to give you any use. The British Army is and always will be the finest army in the world. <laughs> Never lost a war, we haven't. Oh, no? What about 1775, the American War of Independence? We whipped you then. Bunker Hill, Yorktown. Yeah, that was his fault again. Oh. You, if it hadn't been your rotten fleet outside Yorktown helping him, we might have got away again. Another triumphant withdrawal. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, you, you go boys make me laugh. Coming over here in 1917 with your pockets full of money, flashing it about while we was in the trenches and having all our women. Oh, say, right, that is true. Oh, come on now, come on. I wouldn't be surprised if you was the one got at Maud Elliot. <laughs> Maud Elliot again? Who the hell is Maud Elliot? My girlfriend. <laughs> she was, till I found a lump of chewing gum stuck behind her ear hole. <laughs> as well. You're crazy. I never knew any more, Elliot. Nineteen Bombay Crescent Shepherd's Bush. <laughs> she was a tram driver out of the Putney garage. So many tram drivers, and it's hardly likely that I would forget a female one. Now, oh, well, some yank rang her bell and forgot to pay the ride. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Oh, you English, you can never keep hold of your women. <laughs> well, we didn't have to, did we? Plenty of yours, weren't there? <laughs> oh, oh, girl blood! Ah, yeah, you were very friendly, you lot. Very friendly. There's a lot of little English frogs up in around North. Come <laughs> <laughs> oh, on, get the one that was here. Never friend, never friend, never friend. Don't want to. Monsieur, you have insulted the woman of the La Belle France. I cannot tolerate such ungallant insinuations. I demand an apology. You insulted our birds first. Will you apologize? No. <laughs> oh, you bleeding snaggy. <laughs> Here you are, nice again, when it's nearly all over. 